the woman who acted as a sign language interpreter at a Florida news conference about the arrest of a suspected serial killer was really signing complete gibberish, authorities said. Tampa Police Department Chief Brian Dugan briefed a hastily called press gathering Wednesday to announce 24-year-old Howell. Emmanuel Donaldson III was in custody in connection with four shooting deaths in Seminole Heights. Standing next to him was Dolan Roberts who appeared to be interpreting the chief's statement for the hearing impaired. But her hands were relaying only gobbledygook police said. She showed up and presented herself as being here to provide interpreter services, police spokeswoman Janelle McGregor told InsideEdition.com Monday, because the press conference was put together so quickly the department didnt have time to get an interpreter, McGregor said. Usually, department officials use a local service. It's part of something we're looking into, she said. We want to know how she found out about it. If someone hired her to come to the conference. McGregor said no crime had been committed. We've reached out to Roberts, McGregor said, but the woman has not contacted authorities. Efforts by InsideEdition.com to locate Roberts were unsuccessful. Texas Sign Language interpreter Wendy Rossi told InsideEdition.com. The woman's finger movements didnt mean anything. About three minutes into it, the press conference, Roberts was actually signing kill 55 million unintelligible please unintelligible arrest killed unintelligible work school work. 41 kill unintelligible 3 old 2 4 now I will have ask want unintelligible about 2 times night, Rossi said. The deaf community was being left out of important information in their community, Rossi said. McGregor said the department, from now on, will only use interpreters from the contractor, we don't want this to be an issue in the future, she said. She will not be coming to any more of our news conferences. It's not the first time a Florida press gathering has been upstaged by a sign language interpreter spouting nonsense. In September, with Hurricane Irma heading for the state, Manatee County used an interpreter who signed the words pizza, bear and monster. Officials said they were desperate to find someone who knew American Sign Language and ended up using a county employee who has a deaf brother. The worker realized quickly that he was in over his head, or authorities said. Best of friends deaf girl teaches sign language to her deaf dog sign language interpreter shoots to stardom after blizzard warnings. Her mother teaches her deaf baby her daughter sign language can you sign grandma.